from 4 mm minimum to a staggering 800 mm. Though before I continue, I should probably mention what the mm value means in the first place. mm refers to the focal length in millimeters. However, it is not the literal length of the lens, nor is it the distance between you and an object. Rather, it refers to the difference between the camera sensor and the optical center of the lens. For the lens of the camera itself is not a singular piece of glass, but rather a layering of the different elements that make up a lens. Again, the relationship between the optical center and the camera's sensor. The optical sensor itself is where the light rays come together to converge and make the image in question. The camera sensor is what receives the light in question. The mm value, or focal length of a lens, is meant to signify a few things. Those things being how much a scene is captured, how large your subjects will appear in the frame, and the distance between yourself and the object in question for getting a clear shot. That last one was probably what you were thinking of when I brought up the mm value. Typically, the higher the mm value, the longer the distances you will get and the smaller the frames you will have. Whereas, the smaller the mm value, the larger your subject will appear in frame, but the shorter the distance, of course. But, starting off at the shortest ranges, we have the 4mm to 11mm range, which are regarded as fisheye, or ultra-wide angle, lenses. This type of lens is used for very nearby objects and are called that due to the fisheye distortion that this type of lens often gives off when used. The most notable examples I can think of involve extreme sports such as skateboarding. There are also wide-angle lenses that hang around the 14mm to 35mm, sometimes 50mm even, range. This range is often used for getting nice, broad shots of landscapes, whilst also having minimal distortion depending on how close it gets to the fisheye lens range. Then there are the standard lenses that range from 35 to 85 millimeters, though the most common variant is the standard 50 millimeters. With this lens, it is best used for general use in any scenario, where the focal length be that of what a human eye might see be important. Then we have the short-range telephoto lens, which generally float around the 85mm to 135mm range. This type of lens is often used to get nice, shallow depth of field portrait shots of people from a distance thanks to its wide aperture, offsetting any distortion. Then there are the mid-range telephoto lenses that range from 135 to 300 millimeters, or 400 millimeters depending on your source. But regardless of your sighted source, this type of lens is often used for getting far away sports action shots, such as swimming or surfing, where even a fisheye lens wouldn't be practical at that point. Then we have the super telephoto lenses, which go beyond the 300-400mm range, and instead up to a whopping 5,200mm! In extreme cases, anyway, though the more common usages max around the 600 to 800 millimeter range. Not much fundamentally different from mid-range lenses when it comes to taking faraway shots of sports and nature. However, these lenses are arguably the best at handling astronomy. No, I don't think in a telescope sense, but I'm not too familiar with super telephoto lenses. 
But now, let us finish off with three surprise mystery lenses in the lightning round! First, we have kit lenses, which are basic lenses that come with a camera. Assuming you got a lens with your camera, that is, that typically have a range of 18 to 55 millimeters. Then we have macro lenses, which are used for extreme close-up shots of tiny things such as insects or someone's eye. Lastly, we have tilt shift lenses, which are prime only and fall within the wide angle ranges. But their purpose is to be used to correct the perspective of how something looks in a viewfinder, which makes it handy for architecture photography or anything else where having control of the perspective might come in handy. And that is all I have left to say for this learning path. Hope you had fun, fulfill your challenges, and have a nice day.